Hello, and welcome to Module 5. Uh, congratulations on finishing Module 4. And now we are going to look at assisted GPS and high sensitivity. And to see how this fits into context, here's what you've learned so far. You learned how GPS works. You've learned about position, differential GPS. And in Module 4 with me, we looked into receiver design. And so what we're going to look at now is assisted GPS. And with assisted GPS, we can design receivers to give you high sensitivity so they work even indoors. And we'll see how to do that over the course of Module 5. To, so to give you an outline of Module 5 that makes sense, I'm going to remind you of what the outline of Module 4 looked like, where we started with a signal from the satellite. You remember the 27 watts, like a little light bulb in the sky. And we chased that signal through space, into the front end of the receiver, into the baseband. And that led us to this acquisition search space. Well, Module 5, we're going to begin with the acquisition search space. There it is up there. And that's going to introduce us to assisted GPS. And the big idea of assisted GPS is that we get the data from the satellite through some other means. And then because of that, a lot of good things happen. For one thing, kind of obvious, the receiver itself doesn't need to decode that data from the satellite. And less obvious, but more profound, with that data from the network, we can reduce the search space. And so that's we're going to spend a lot of time looking into how does that search space that we just got introduced to in the previous module, how do we get it reduced so that we don't have so much to search? And so we will look at the search space in detail in 5.2. But now we'll look at the search space with assisted GPS helping us. So it helps us reduce it. How much does it get reduced? That's what 5.2 is going to do for us. Having seen how much we can reduce it, and in particular, how much we can reduce this, fre this frequency part of it. This is the frequency axis right here. Then we're going to look at how we design frequency bins, how we decide where we, how wide to search before we step in frequency. And that's the frequency bins. How do you do that? We're going to look at here. And then we're going to do something analogous to what I just showed you for the outline of section 4. Remember section 4, we chase the signal from the satellite all the way through uh, down to the receiver baseband. Here we're going to follow the signal through the correlators. And we're going to learn about coherent integration, which occurs at this part in the receiver. And we're going to learn about implementation losses, which occur all through the receiver. And we're going to look at limits to coherent integration. The longer you integrate, the stronger your SNR grows in the receiver until it doesn't work anymore because you hit certain limits. We're going to learn about that in section 5.7. And then we're going to get to the, to the culmination of this module, which is non-coherent integration, which is the key to high sensitivity along with the AGPS. And that's all this part of the receiver where we do a squaring operation, which you can see hiding in there. And the squaring is makes, what makes the signal non-coherent with phase. That's why that term non-coherent shows up. And it'll make a lot more sense as we go through. And we, we'll learn about that. And then finally, we'll, we'll go back to the sensitivity worksheet. That's a similar worksheet that we saw before when we did the noise analysis. You remember Friese's formula? We did that earlier on. And we're going to expand on that worksheet. And so we can finally see how we get a correlation peak through the complete chain of a receiver, even in the presence of a very weak signal. And the text for this section of the class is uh, this book. It's an entire book on AGPS by me. And it covers everything we're doing in Module 5 in, in far greater detail than we can do in, in a MOOC. So if you want to get into further detail on anything, that's the book to get and uh, also available in Chinese.